Manasalawa is all about water, but water can also be a, a negative impact for farmers. And in Colombia, we have a negative impact that can be in both extreme of the water cycle. You may have droughts, so lack of water, but you may have excess of water, flooding, landslide. In this project, we have working on main three issues. One of them is the relationship between coffee and water. The second one is the relationship between post-harvesting process and water. And the third one is the relationship between community and water. In Manos del Aqua, we are trying to create an, um, a governance structure uh, where we engage communities uh, to work together, how you can improve, say, the landscape and how you can improve the water used within this landscape. The second one is how we can improve the environment, for example, by planting trees. The third one is by improving how, say, the contaminants of uh, the coffee production can be reduced, so you have a lower load of contaminants on the waters. And the last one is how you can improve, uh, say, climate robustness. Uh, so how can you deal with drought periods and how can you deal with floods? Colombia is a key origin for many of our products. Uh, it's an origin that, uh, that delivers excellent, very consistent quality, very diverse quality, and, uh, and we rely on it. We work on productivity, on quality, but it has to be productivity and quality for the long term, for the long run. And to have farms working in a sustainable way, it's managing better the water. The problems that there are in my finca is me afecto mucho la traviesa porque el café salió muy veraneado, porque no alcanzó a llenar el fruto por falta de agua. Entonces el café empezó con mala calidad y también inclusive mucho se disparó mucho la, eh, la broca. This new way of working with Manos del Agua was bringing in universities and bringing in also state representatives. Uh, this is the first time we do this. Uh, I believe a lot in having many more stakeholders than just companies and NGOs uh, because it gives a, a more global approach to what you're working on. If you have ideas and you apply it really in practice and therefore working together with governments and private industry and science and citizens, so the end users, the farmers themselves, that's innovative in itself. Innovation is not only about technology, which is also an important component in this project because we try to bring in innovation for uh, in the coffee washing, the post-harvesting process for farmers. Innovation for me is also a mindset. So what is stewardship when it's about moving from isolated type of thinking and working and into a much broader type of uh, discussion and collaboration with uh, local stakeholders? This is about innovation. Natural approach means that we are working with a key element of the natural capital, with water. Manos al agua propende por el capital natural porque allí en esas regiones cafeteras que son las microcuencas hay todo un sistema, un sistema vivo, biodiverso. La única manera de poder mantener ese sistema es cuidando la biodiversidad, suelo, agua, condiciones que permitan la supervivencia de nuestras familias cafeteras. Eso genera capital natural. El grupo me ha ayudado a, re a reforestar con árboles para las microcuencas porque como estaban tan desprotegidas entonces con los árboles que nos dieron de reforestación ya hemos estado mitigando ese problema. We are looking for uh, say nature based solutions in this area so we're trying to uh, use the strengths of the ecosystems uh, to further strengthening uh, yeah, the robustness and resilience of the area. Gestión inteligente del agua está siendo un modelo de alianza público-privada en Colombia. ¿Por qué razón? Porque tenemos involucradas el triángulo del éxito. Por un lado, el sector público, sector privado y la sociedad civil. Public-private partnerships deliver value in two areas. First, uh, by potentializing the investments that any private company can, can make. And second, by... Uh, potentializing also the application of the knowledge that is generated, meaning that governments can translate the, this knowledge into official policies. Working with uh, different partners, uh, first of all, is a challenge. And, and always at the start, you have to get to know one another. You have to create trust. You also have to learn what uh, each other's main objectives are. But then when you have finished that phase, then it becomes actually very exciting. 
We launched a AAA program, which is our sustainability program in 2003 with the rainforest. We work with fair trade. We have a very interesting initiative in Colombia again with uh, on pensions for farmers. We also work with a, th a third NGO, Technoserve. We, we created a wet mill in Colombia with Technoserve. And we work with the Federación Nacional de Cafeteros, which represents the coffee producers in Colombia. The FNC has a branch devoted to research called Senicafe. All the techniques and the technologies coming from Senicafe are sustainable. We have a thousand agronomists, they are extensionists, who are transferring the technology and the findings from Senicafe to the farmers. The vision of Wageningen UR is of course to explore the potential of nature to improve the quality of life. And this project on water and intelligent water management is totally aligned with that mission. Next step is to, to use and to replicate and to spread the knowledge we are getting in this project. The project is focusing on 25 river basins, is focusing on coffee, but the model, the engagement collectively around water within a catchment can be something, can be uh, exported in other catchments in Colombia, so we need some more resources, but can be also cross-cutting other agricultural crops, other sectors. The most important next step of this program is uh, outscaling, so reaching out to other partners to join us, because what we would like to do is to take the results of the project and go from the 11,000 farmers that are presently engaged in the project towards all the farmers, which is roughly 500,000 farmers in the whole of Colombia to be engaged, but even also go outside of Colombia. Con el programa de Manos al Agua me ha ayudado a ahorrar agua, porque primero gastaba demasiada agua en el manejo del café. Consumers are prepared to pay more, so your business does well, and you can pay more to the farmers or to the people who produce for you. This is the creating shared value concept where everyone benefits, where the more business you do, the more positive impact you generate for all stakeholders.